Hello Mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how this screenwriter article says TMNT's darkest future gave them new samurai looks that series shouldn't ignore. So, so let's read, shall we? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe is no stranger to a dark alternate future that paint a grim picture of not only the turtles themselves, but also the entire world in which they are forced to live However, in one of those potential futures, there's a bright side. As the Ninja Turtles get new samurai looks, the series should not ignore. One of the most iconic alternate futures within Human T canon is obviously The Last Ronin, which Michael Angelo is the last surviving member of his family who is on a quest for vengeance against the villain who killed them. While the last Ronin is certainly the most noble, depressing, notable, depressing Ninja Turtle fu uh, future, it's, it isn't necessarily the most bleak. In an ongoing Armageddon game story arc, Donatello and Phoenix have had multiple experiences traveling to an alternate future through mas magical and other worldly gateways. And the future they see is thrown into absolute chaos, not to mention the last remaining survivors or being terrorized by a giant shark monster named Armageddon. However, as, as said, as sad as the last Ronin may be, or as supernaturally terrifying the potential outcome of the Armageddon game is, neither of the futures are as tragic as the one where the turtles arguably look their coolest. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 89, by Kevin Eastman, Bobby Kurnow, Don Moss, and David Witcher, Master Splinter, who at this point in time is the leader of the Folk Clan, is sitting in his chambers alone on Christmas. Splinter's sons, the Ninja Turtles, don't approve of Splinter being the leader of the Folk Clan, given the organization's past felony, and they've all but renounced him as their father by continuing down this seemingly wrong path. Despite being sad and lonely, Splinter decided to wallow alone rather than reach out and try to make amends with his sons on Christmas. At this point, the entire comic turns into a retelling of the Charles Dixon's classic, A Christmas Carol, with Splinter playing the role of the it banishes Scrooge himself. After going through the same trials as the original Scrooge, Splinter finds himself standing, bef standing before the being that will show his own death so that he continue down his current path. In the future, Splinter becomes just like the Shredder, and his foot clan are used to conquer rather than protect. In response, the Ninja Turtles have to murder their own father through the the suit they wear, suits they wear while they do so are absolutely phenomenal. That does sound bleak. The turtles having to kill Splinter? Ooh. Ooh. Being pushed to want to kill one of his father is a decidedly darker outcome than simply losing loved ones or experiencing the end of the world by the hand of an elder god because it puts someone in the position of to carry um, out such an unthinkable deed themselves. Through the TMT samurai outfits may have been may have, may may have made it worth it. These updated costumes are the perfect evolution of the Ninja Turtles. Each of each has full body armor in the same style as a typical samurai warrior with their respective colors highlighted over, over top. Not only that, but each of the turtles wear war paint under their eyes, each following featuring the unique colors as well. Um, these new costumes are great because they do not try to reimagine what the turtles look like, but instead present the perfect look for them to grow into. As this series progresses and the turtles gradually age out of the teenage aspect of their moniker, these future costumes should 
absolutely be considered as their permanent battle attire, as they wear the only thing that made them Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Darkest Futures worth experiencing. That's cool. That is pretty cool, because a lot, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, at least in my memory, and again, correct me, like, if they did more than just in the uh, reference of where I say, please let me know. But the only time that I've seen the turtles putting samurai armor on that I can re remember at the moment is the third movie, third live action movie that came out in 1993, where the turtles went back in time. Only time I remember seeing them in armor, samurai armor. And so, like, I bet, yeah, like, updated armors. And I could go into those. Man, that could be cool. That is, I, I'm getting goosebumps. That seems exciting. And badass, by the way. Um, seems extremely exciting. Um, I'm just imagining how they could potentially look with a description. Which is why I might be not, like, as, like, that seems spacey. I gotta say, from their description, I want to have in my head. The chair look, looks pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. They look pretty cool. But, what do you beautiful people think? Let me know in this comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters.